Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys a product that's called Bio Ouster. And it's by a company uh, by the name of Ouster Water Solutions that uh, they saw my video on my hot tub uh, that I got from Costco back in, uh, it's been over a year now, back in May of what, 2018, I think? Yeah. Back in May of 2018, and you know the video was very, very popular on YouTube uh, because a lot of people didn't really know what to expect when buying a, a hot tub like that, something that large, from a big box store such as Costco or Home Depot or any of those stores. Basically, when you buy something like that, there's a lot to kind of consider before the delivery because you're really just kind of doing it on your own. So, the video was very popular, and so the Ouster uh, company reached out to me and they wanted to send me one of their hot tub restoration uh, plumbing cleanses and this is it right here and so what I did is I actually and I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna do another video on this this is my original unveil video of the product um, and I haven't actually used this in the hot tub yet uh, what I wanted to do was and I did a video the other day uh, which I like I said I'm gonna edit it all together and just kind of show you guys some results uh, but I wanted to put this one up quickly because I've had the product now for probably about two weeks and I just want to just kind of give you guys my opinion on it. So uh, what this product does is that it's designed to get out a lot of the biomatter uh, that accumulates inside the piping, the lines of your hot tub over time. Um, you know, a hot tub is a great thing to have. I love having mine. Uh, I keep mine about 104, but anytime you have water temperature between 98 and 104 within a closed loop system, there is the potential to get uh, you know biomatter and bio sludge that will develop inside those lines. And there's really nothing you could do. You can have the perfect water quality. You can maintain everything uh, perfectly with your pH, you know, your water hardness, your chlorines, your sanitizers. But those are really meant to keep the water itself clean. It's not actually gonna clean the insides, those parts you really can't get at. And so over time, you are gonna have the accumulation of some sort of sludge on the inside of there. And you know that will help to contaminate your water. It will add to cloudy water. And it's really not much you can do to, to really clean those those lines uh, until now. So uh, what this product does is you you uh, integrate this into your water in your hot tub. Mine is about a um, I think a 275 gallon. It's more of a smaller four person um, Adriana by uh, Aquaterra. Um, and what you do is it's it's kind of like a blue. It almost looks like a like a a, a blue. Uh, toilet bowl cleaner, honestly. It's just a kind of a blue, like a blue shower gel by Axe, you know? And what you do is you basically remove your filter from your hot tub. You put those parts on, on the bottom of the, the tub itself because they're going to get cleaned as well. And you uh, integrate this product inside the tub and what you do, or your hot tub. And what you do is you run it for about 15, 20 minutes. I mean, if you're going to do this, I would run it for the full 20. And what it's supposed to do is cleanse the inside of the piping. And what will happen is you'll develop a foam, kind of like you would see in the ocean, you know, um, on, on, you know, near the waves or near the, the jetties, depending on where you may live. And you'll see, and, and most people who have been to a beach have seen something like that, where you see this like dirty looking foam. And what this does, and I'm not really 100% sure on how it does it, but it actually removes a lot of that biofilm and biomatter from inside the piping. Uh, and so what you do is, again, you integrate this into the, into the hot tub, you run it for about 20 minutes, and you'll start to see a lot of foam accumulate. If you get too much foam, you'll turn it off, let it settle, and then turn it back on for another 15, 20 minutes. Once you're done, though, you have to drain the tub. So when they sent me this product, I wasn't exactly ready to drain my tub. Uh, our weather here has been kind of crummy lately, so uh, hopefully I'll be, I'll be doing this in the next couple weeks. But I said, you know, I want to make sure that this product is actually... You know, when I do a review on this channel, it's always honest and upfront with you guys. Whether I like a product or I don't like a product, I'm always going to point out the good and the bad of the product, if it does have bad, of course, or if it does have good. Uh, most things I'm pretty happy with, and a lot of the companies I work with have been pretty awesome, pretty honest. Uh, so, but one thing I wanted to do was, based on their videos that I saw, you see all this foam with this nasty kind of, almost like a, like salad, not quite as large, but floating on the foam. And that's supposed to be coming from out inside the plumbing, right? And that's what it's supposed to be doing. Well, I wanted to make sure that this just wasn't pulling stuff out of your dirty water. So my water in my hot tub now is gone a little over, you know, it's been over there a year. Uh, it's definitely needing to be changed. Again, everything's fine. It's clear. It doesn't, you know, have any kind of odors. I, I, you know, I'm the only person that uses it. I'm pretty meticulous as far as maintaining the water, but um, I wanted to make sure that this wasn't just pulling stuff out of the water that was trapped in there or trapped in the filter and then just putting on a show. 
So my idea was, let me integrate this product into my jet tub in my bathroom, where those lines actually have time to kind of dry out, and you're not constantly subjecting those lines to this perfect breeding ground for bio sludge or biofilm. And so I reached out to the company, I said, this is what I'm gonna do first, and they said, oh, we, we didn't know you had a jetted tub, so let's go ahead and send you our jetted bathtub restoration. Uh, and this is the kit right here. So you have the hot tub restoration right here, okay? And then you have, very similar, the jet tub restoration and what this is the nice thing about the jet tub uh, I believe you're getting almost the same volume of product that you would get in your standard uh, pot tub uh, um, kit right and so I did actually uh, the other night I and what's nice about the jet tub kit you get five of these so you get five different occasions you can clean the tub now this was gonna be a great experiment because I wanted to see if I was gonna get anything and be honest with you I was really skeptical this was gonna do anything I figured it was just a gimmick uh, it wasn't gonna do anything it was just gonna pull stuff out of the water or the filter and put on this show and so again the tub was a great thing to test it on because I just put a new pump in that which is spot perfectly clean hasn't had a lot of use on it granted the tub has been in this house since 1996 um, I have cleaned the tub over the over the years you know I mean several times uh, every year I'll, I'll fill it up with hot water as hot as I can get it and then I'll put bleach in there and that will tend to clean out a lot of that green kind of algae or biofilm that you get into what I consider biofilm or algae inside the lines uh, and so the tub's always pretty clean I made sure the tub was clean as far as uh, you know for the most part it wasn't a lot of soap scum there was a little bit and so what I did was I integrated this and this is actually when you pour it in uh, I filled up the tub of hot water. Uh, I filled it to the recommendation about a couple inches above the highest jet. And it almost looked like you were pouring Windex into the tub. So I was like, gosh, it doesn't look like there's anything to this. I was highly skeptical this was gonna do anything. So I went ahead and ran it. And I ran it for 20 minutes. And as I ran it, and again, I'll come and re review this product with an edited video, but uh, there was a lot of foam. Not tons of foam, but a, a decent amount of foam uh, that was definitely manageable. I didn't have to turn off the tub or anything, but you started to get kind of a ring around the back of the tub where that water kind of accumulates based on the position of the jet. Uh, some of what I would call like, you know, salad, little pieces of green floating in that foam, pieces of dirt, and things that you wouldn't see that happen with just a regular bleach or soap, um, you know, uh, cleanse. So it definitely did something. And what I wanted to make sure was, was it just pulling the soap scum off the tub? And what was interesting is that the wherever I put this on the soap scum, uh, when you know the water level was right with, right where that was at, you have some you know, and not a lot of soap scum. But you can just tell the tub is really shiny when it's super clean. You've you know you buffed it up, and then where mine was at, you can see just a little bit of a haze. And when this product was introdu introduced in there after running for 20 minutes, you would expect if it was taking off just the scum and putting on a show that there would be a distinct line where the water was, where the product was, and then where the water wouldn't reach. And there wasn't. It was pretty consistent. Uh, throughout the uh, entire run and so afterwards I drained the tub I gave it a good scrub a rinse and I said to myself you know let me just really hit this tub hard because I haven't really uh, you know it's never had anything quite like this so I uh, right off the bat I was pretty amazed because it did make a difference it did pull stuff out of the lines and that was the only spot in my opinion that all that stuff could have come out because it wasn't on the tub itself it didn't really remove a lot of the scum but it did actually remove uh, whatever was inside the lines, at least in my opinion it did. And uh, so I was pretty impressed. So what I did was I went back and I did try one of the ones designed for 400 gallons uh, just to see what it would do if it would do anything else. It produced a ton of foam. So I mean a ton of foam where I had to keep draining it filling it, draining it. So this is not a product. And again, the company told me that, but I wanted to experiment and just see if it would really do anything else. The amount of foam it produced was insane. It was like a giant bubble bath. I mean, and, and 10 times worse. Enough where this is definitely not the product you will use in a jet tub. So if you want to try this, uh, the price on these is exactly the same, $29.99. Uh, if you're not ready to, to maybe clean your hot tub, I definitely recommend you trying the uh, plumbing cleanse for your jet tub. You'll have five different or five different occasions or five treatments uh, where you can, I think it's five. Sorry, right, four, my bad. Bone dick style.